Hi, this is Rich Harrington, and I want to show you how you can compensate for wide angle distortion in an image. With the photo open in Photoshop, I'm going to choose Filter, Adaptive Wide Angle. Now this is new to CS6. This will open up a new interface, and essentially it's time to start drawing some straight lines. So I'll take this here and click at the top of the building, and then just come down. And you notice that it attempts to actually bend and warp and match the image. And that does a nice job of straightening. Now I can continue to come through the image here. And it will begin, as long as I click inside the photo, to straighten. If you want to take manual control, you can start to turn these two dials here. And essentially, you'll see that the image starts to bend and warp. Now this works great on all sorts of surfaces. And you can absolutely start to rotate that, particularly so you get a green line. That's Photoshop's way of telling you that it thinks that the distortion has been removed and that the image looks correct. You're generally going to want to do this on several surfaces, particularly with a larger photo like this. And I'm just using the available straight lines within the image to dictate, and that really adds the drama back in there. Now, you don't have to do the edges. You can actually go right down the middle like I do here and you see that that starts to straighten out some of that distortion in the building. And a simple drag of the rotation reel there will work. And when you get that feedback of a green line, that's Photoshop's way of telling you it detects that things have been properly straightened. So very straightforward. Just going to do that in a couple more places there. And a little pull. And you see that that's really taken shape. Now, if you start to see gaps at the edge, which is quite possible, you can go through and remove those. That becomes easy using the scale slider on the right hand side there. So let's just do a couple of crossbars here on the building and get that set. And then using the scale slider, I'll just mag that up to lose some of the gaps at the edge and click OK to apply the transformation. All right, that's the adaptive wide angle. It does a great job of removing unwanted distortion in your images.